So just like we look into the heart and we get an EKG, we look into bones and we get x-rays, we get the brain's MRI if there's something missing, why not get a spec scan to look for ADHD? ADHD in kids and adults can look different. And let's talk about ADHD in kids first. So we are able to spot different parts of the brain that are either underactive or overactive in different and classify them as different types of ADHD. Um, ADHD can be the inattentive type, the hyperactive type, a combination of both, or Dr. Amen has his seven subtypes of ADHD, which you'd like to read from his book called The Healing ADD. And you'll get to know all the types from it. We are able to spot all those seven types or different forms of ADHD and cater treatment accordingly when we look into the brain. So when we look into the brain, uh, ADHD brains can show either too much blood flow or a lack of blood flow in different areas, which would be indicating too much activity in certain areas or under activity in certain areas that we can fix. So. If your kid has any of the symptoms of hyperactivity, where you're getting frustrated at home, where they're not finishing their homework, they're requiring repetition, and they're still not able to follow through tasks, and they're getting constantly distracted, the teachers are filling in questionnaires or sending reports saying your child can't sit still, they're not finishing work, or they're daydreaming for that matter, why don't you contact us and then we can get your child scanned and we can see what type of ADHD they have and then cater your treatment personalized based on that.